difficult to show how um, thin this thing is. It's and it's a 4.2 inch. It's 4.2 inch. And one more, actually, I shouldn't say stunning too much, but I think one more stunning thing we actually have on this phone yeah. is that, let me try to turn it on. Or I, sh I have another one. When it's not turned on, it's completely black. And you can't really see oh, what yeah, the screen yeah, yeah, yeah. is. It looks like there's no screen in there at all, really. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you turn it on, it lifts up the image. It looks as if ah. it's floating. And the reason why this, this you have this very beautiful, vivid look is because there's actually no air in between the top glass and the LCD. We tried to make it really slim, but not only that, when you don't have any air in between the glass and the actual LCD, there is no extra reflection of the light happening, meaning you get the really crisp graphic yeah. um, experience on the screen. Just like you drop a water on top of any object, all of a sudden that thing yeah, pops up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. That's really good. I mean, uh, this especially, uh, taking photos into there, that's really shiny. Can you just show that again? I mean, um, sure. if I have a normal phone here, <laughs> Well, and I try and see what's in this box. All I can see is that there's a white blob. And if you guys try it with that's your a uh, Sony Ericsson, Sony Ericsson camera, headset, this is what you'll see. You can see that there's a Android in there. So <laughs> the camera in low light definitely. I'll exactly. go for this one over, over We have the else. Sony's latest Exmor R sensor, which is a 2.4 uh, um, aperture. It makes you capture very bright uh, bright images, even in a dark area. And just as you just saw, we're very okay. proud of this one. Sir, have you got the Pro just so we can have a quick yeah, look absolutely. at that? I really. Uh, we have a tool right here. Is this only a Pro? It is. Is this a, lot, uh, a similar sort of construction to the Play, but obviously with the keyboard, or is it um, totally different? No, it's, it's, it's slightly different. Uh, these phones are developed in, in different sites as well. Okay. Um, what you have on the Pro, uh, and on the Neo, and on the Arc, it's actually a HDMI output. Yeah. And uh, all three of them support the same camera sensor. Like, I believe you yeah, heard it demoed already. I've seen that. Micro. Really yeah. good, yeah. <laughs> I do like that. It is really good. Uh, they all have the mobile Bravia engine. Uh, so, obviously, it's slightly different. And while um, it's fair play, it's of course a game dedicated device. It still has cameras and so on, but it doesn't have exactly the same uh, technologies yeah. these phones do. And we, we were being told that you can pop out the keyboard and it will just start typing straight away. That's correct. We have uh, uh, a functionality called Smart Keyboard. Yeah, uh, in this device. So what we've done is that we've been trying to make it really intuitive uh, for the user. Yeah. So, for example, if you're browsing an email, uh, I can show. You, I don't have the email set up on this one, but I, I can show you a video of it if you'd like. Oops, sorry. One more stunning thing about this one is it has exactly almost the same experience as yeah. this Neo. But if you compare the actual size and the width, although it has a slider and this additional mechanism to make the easy typing possible, it's still made a very, very compact figure. It is also the same with the, with the Xperia Play. If I went into uh, an office with that, you wouldn't know it's you know, it's not a PlayStation. <laughs> no, because you can hide your game yeah, in yeah. obsession. You can. <laughs> Just say it's a normal phone. It looks like a normal phone. So, yeah. Exactly. Um, so I think we have the video yeah. now. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, this is the, uh, the email UI. Uh, this is also something. Maybe you have already explained this. No. Okay. So th this UI is also unique to Sony Ericsson. Uh, this pane in the middle actually be able to, to uh, move it back and forth. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. You have a device with it on. It's like a preview pane on a normal sort of outlook. Exactly. And it, it's very uh, versatile and useful. So what, what will happen uh, with Xperia Pro when you're doing this is that when you're browsing this in a closed mode and then pull out the keyboard, what will happen, it will actually automatically sense that you want to reply mm -hmm. to everything. So it will pop up, reply, reply, all forward. So you can just easily tap what you want to do with it yeah. and just go ahead and type away with your email. So it's, it's really, I mean, kind of yeah. intuitive, uh, 
hardware kind of software mixture. And it's not only in the email, this will also be available in Timescape and uh, Calendar, to name a few. Uh, we're also putting something on called uh, uh, text, text and type, text to type widget. Basically, it's, it's a widget that you can place anywhere. This, yeah, this is what was being mentioned, yeah. 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 And you can just start typing in this widget, and after you type, you can actually then uh, choose what you want to do with this text. So, so you can get the thought out there first and then decide yep, what to do with it. Exactly, if you want to send an email, an SMS, or if you up, want to update your, your Facebook status. And this widget is also intelligent, and so it, it uh, scans what kind of applications that you download it, that can actually send text. So if you download, for example, another instant, instant messaging application, it will populate in, in the list available here under the share. And the three mostly used applications will always be sported here at icons. Yeah. So it's also very easy and it builds on the kind of proposition to, I mean, really quick, fast messaging, right? Uh, Thank you. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Thank you very much. In this one, we're also uh, pre installing Office Suite Pro. Okay, so cool. you can actually uh, create new Word documents uh, or Excel documents. You can even write macros <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. if you want to. Um, and of course, you can also view all documents. You can view PowerPoints and, and PDF files as well. So we want to support productivity in this phone as well. And we believe it's it's, uh, it's a good fit not only to people who message a lot, but even to businesses. Yeah. And uh, with the Obviously, if you use a PowerPoint and if you have an HDMI-enabled projector or TV, you don't need your laptop and this is run your PowerPoint from this one. That was the thing. <laughs> I don't think many people realise what all of these... Is it all of these TVs are running off your phones, basically, as yes. yes. um, uh, video output? Those two are. Yeah. Um, sorry, I don't know which are actually connected to this. This is just running a normal video. Uh, then it's not on. Um, I mean, these two are, so you have the UI, you have the home screen, and the one over there, well, these are just demos for Xperia Play, I mean, on the back of all that. Ah, it's really cool. Right, well, thank you.